Hi guys and welcome back to the Halloween collab that is being hosted by Scrapbooking and Craft here on YouTube. This is the first week of project shares using the um, chipboard pieces. I decided to make two ATC cuts. The first one is this one. I have used one of the pumpkins and the witch's hat that was in the chipboard pieces that Melinda sent me. I used this um, ink that I got last year with some stamps the, to colour the hat and the pumpkin. So, as you can see, orange for the pumpkin, black for the hat. I then put a piece of yellow paper behind the pumpkin to make it look like there was a candle in there. This is some perfect pearls that I was gifted by my mum and then just a bit of stickles to make it look like a buckle. I hope you can see it. It looks a bit blurry to me. I then used one of the, Hall the Halloween buttons that I ha had in my stash and some of the purple bats that were table scatter. And it is just backed on, this is 600 GSM cardstock. Then I've just added some black cardstock to the front and just glued it on. I did, for the hat, put a little puffy tape because the hat sitting on the pumpkin raised it up and I didn't want it to bend and break. So that's that one. I think they turned out quite cute. And this one is my Sparkly Spooks. And they are two of, sorry, brain just blanked for a minute there. I used two of the chipboard ghosts. Now, I was going to paint the ghosts white and then put the stickles over the top. But in a house where your child, your eldest child, is an artist and does nothing but paint and draw, your paints tend to disappear. So my acrylic paints have disappeared. So I ended up, I found some silver. Um... It was actually watercolour paint and I just painted that on to the chipboard and then stickled over the top. So they, I don't know, you really, oh, there we go. You can pick up the sparkle there. One is done in icicle. The bottom one's done in icicle and the top one is done in diamond stickles. Then I didn't know what else to do and I found this button that said boo that's made up of ghosts. Again, from the Halloween buttons that I had. Oh, ghosts and bones. And then I thought it still looked blank and I thought, oh, I really wish I had some um, – last year when we still had a riot up here, they had like cobweb material stuff, but I didn't grab any. And I'm thinking, oh, I wish I had some of that. And then I remembered – sorry, guys. I bought – I'm just trying to reach over. I bought this ribbon at Easter – from I think it was from Woolies and what I did was just pulled it like really stretched took a piece really stretched it out to make it more look more cobwebby and then just glued it and you can you can sort of see it's um not flat I've glued it so that it's bunched and curled and whirled just to like so that it looks a bit cobwebby and then I found a little spider in my buttons and I've added that as well and you can see all the glitter in that ribbon which it, which worked out perfect because it matched my sparkly spooks so yeah this is this ATC I have named sparkly spooks because they are just I think they're just so cute I think it really turned out well or I hope you think it did but that was my projects for this week. I still have my idea for the big zombie piece for next week. Hopefully next week. Um, so, yeah. I hope you like what I've created. Don't forget to go out and... Oh, sorry, Fingy. Don't forget to go and check out Scrapbooking and Craft website. I It will be linked down below. And... I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. And I'm going to say those words. I hope you're healthy, happy and having fun and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.